What is up, everybody? Hello, and welcome to a special Friday Pulse. We had Pulse yesterday, double Pulse. Two RG Pulse in a row? The back-to-back. Back-to-back RG Pulse. Yes, because we have something very, very special happening today, you guys. When we launched the RG Xbox Ally and Ally X, one of the most common questions that we have been getting since, since we announced it was, will the Xbox full screen experience come to my original ROG Ally or my Ally X? And we always said, yes, it's coming. It may not drop the same day, but we've got to get it ready. It's going to roll out at some point. Today is that day. We keep our promises. The Xbox full screen experience is rolling out uh, to the ROG Ally and Ally X today. Not, um, not everyone is necessarily seeing it yet. I think it's kind of rolling out gradually, but yep. I happen to get it on my device and i would like to show off um a little bit about how to set it up and and how it works for those of you using these older models this will be a pretty quick walkthrough but but let's uh let's show it off so jake i sent you some screenshots of the first notification i got so i just rebooted my device randomly and you'll see in the upper right hand corner here this little button up here that said xbox full screen press here to enter the the full screen experience when you tap that um you'll see a pop-up that tells you what you need to do to enable it. Uh, it'll say go to Windows settings and there'll be a button to take you right there. If for some reason you miss that pop-up or whatever, um, you can also navigate there manually. Just head to the Windows settings app from the start menu. And Jake, you can go to my live view now. Um, and here you are. You will have uh, under the gaming tab, there'll be a full screen experience option and you'll see these new options. So you'll have to come here. You'll have to turn this full screen experience on startup to on. And then you head to the uh, drop down here, which will say none to choose your home app. You switch it to Xbox um, and then you can reboot your device and you will be greeted with the Xbox full screen experience. So I'm going to launch that right now. I'm not going to reboot because um, I'm capturing and sometimes the capture card gets a little finicky when mm -hmm. I reboot. So I'm just going to do start now, no performance changes. But when you reboot, um, you will basically be in... The Xbox full screen experience, the same one that's on the Xbox Ally and Xbox Ally X um, with all of those background processes turned off. So you're saving a bunch of RAM, which is particularly nice if you're on uh, the original white Ally that has 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah, Those extra two gigs that you get from the full screen experience are really nice because you could go allocate that to VRAM if you wanted to. You get a little bit more room to play. Um, and we can actually show you uh, how, how to do that in a sec. So... A couple things that I want to talk about. First of all, obviously, you guys have probably seen this if you've seen the previews. This is your, your Xbox library along with your other game store games up here. here. Um, you can head down to Game Pass. This is all navigable with a controller. Um, you can see your full library, which I have a lot of games installed on this one because this is my testing machine now. But you will notice that you are missing a few buttons compared to the ROG Xbox Ally and the ROG Xbox Ally X. Um, so there is no Xbox button, but you still have the command center button, which if you've enabled the new game bar command center, that will bring up the game bar just like the Xbox button does. And you can tab through that with the, with the bumpers on the top of the device. And at any point you can, uh, you know, pop right back into the Xbox app that way. Now, the other thing is that, um, if you want to get into task view, uh, you can swipe up from the bottom of your screen. And you'll get to this view where you can switch between your apps. You can close games and things like that. Um, on the Xbox Ally and Xbox Ally X, you can hold down the Xbox button to get here if you don't want to touch mm -hmm. your screen. On these models, uh, we put in a shortcut for it. So you press and hold one of the back buttons and press right on the D-pad. So and either M1 or M2 and then right on the D-pad? Nice. Yep. And that will also take you to the task view if you're the kind of person who doesn't like to like to touch your screen. A couple other things we added um, just to kind of give you uh, as many options as we can for this stuff. If you head to Armory Crate, um, you can configure some button mappings that might be handy. So um, while the device doesn't have a dedicated Xbox button, you can assign the Xbox button to something. So for example, if I want, I mean, let's just take, for example, the right bumper. Let's say I wanted to add the Xbox button as a secondary function, which means I hold one of the back buttons, press the right bumper, and it will act 
as the Xbox button. Um, if you come over to the action tab, you'll see that the Xbox button is an option that you can choose for that secondary function. You'll also see that we added this option, um, the enter and exit full screen experience. So if you want a like one click action to get in or out of the full screen experience, you can create a button combo that does that, which is pretty cool. I'm trying to give you guys as many ways to kind of configure the device and, and make use of the full screen experience as possible. Like I mentioned earlier, I do recommend um, not once you have the full screen experience, if you plan on using it, head down to the GPU settings and play with um, the amount of VRAM assigned to the GPU. You might be able to, especially if you're on that white ally, you might be able to go from six gigs to seven gigs or eight gigs um, because you're saving some of the system memory from those background tasks that mm -hmm. aren't running. That would be a pretty handy thing to uh, play with once you have uh, the FSE because more RAM is good. More VRAM is always good, especially with uh, with modern games. So, can you open Steam games with this? Yes, you can. Um, right from yep. the Xbox. Yeah, I got them right here. Yep, exactly. Boom. I was playing Sonic X Shadow Generations on this not that long ago. You can see um, Game Pass. You can see the Steam. You, there'll be Battle.net. All different kinds of launchers will include in there. And, and that update actually rolled out to the Xbox app a while ago. But mm -hmm. if you go into settings and you go to your, I think it's library and extensions. Yeah, you'll see any installed game stores you have here. Just make sure that they're enabled. Um, and those games, once they're installed, should show up in your Xbox library. Right. Um, now, if you, of course, you also have the option of using uh, Armory Crate as your library if you want to. This library is still here, um, and I believe that is in Settings General. You can open Armory Crate straight to your game library, or you can change it to Settings if you prefer, um, and and kind of use that as your as your home base if you want to. But I really like the new Xbox app. It's a really great way to bring all of my games under one roof. Um, I've got my, all my Game Pass stuff there. I can get my daily Microsoft points as soon as I boot my device. It's perfect. So yeah, that's, uh, that's all we really wanted to show off today. Tony Balbo asks, when is this coming to Ally First Generation? Today, right now, that's what we're talking about. This is now on the first generation. So again, it is rolling out a right. little bit gradually from what I'm seeing. I got it on one of my devices, but not the other. So I don't have make it yet, sure that you're so. up to date. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you've updated uh, Windows. Make sure your Xbox app is up to date and all of that stuff. Um, but when when you reboot your device at some point, you will see that uh, Xbox full screen experience button pop up in the upper right hand corner and you'll know that you are ready to start playing. So that's it. Enjoy, guys. We'll see you next time.